everybody. It's Adam. It's Monday. So here is your minister's moment. It's an exciting time. I don't know if you've heard or not, but we are going on to phase two of our reopening plan to uh, re fully reopening the building. If you are willing, if you are wanting to, we in invite you to come join us on Sunday for worship. We do encourage those who are in the higher risk categories of this disease to go ahead and stay home and continue to watch our live stream. But if you just feel the need, if you if you feel the need to reconnect, if you feel the need to be with your brothers and sisters in, in worship at, at the building, join us. If you can, do so. It kind of reminds me of one of my favorite stories about Jesus. He was in a house so crowded by people that anybody wanting to get in could no longer. It's something none of us have experienced in a while. Uh, people, you know, crowding around Jesus, wanting to hear his teaching. And, 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 you know, if they can't get into the house, they're looking in through the windows and whatever they can do to get a glimpse of Jesus. And, and there's a group of friends who have brought their paralyzed friend to come see him, to, to be healed by him. Now, obviously, the crowd's too thick. They can't carry their friend uh, on a mat or whatever apparatus they use to get him there uh, through the crowd. And so instead, they get a little creative. They take him up to the roof of the house, dig a hole in the roof so they can lower their friend to Jesus and he can be healed by him. Uh, I appreciate their efforts. I'm inspired by them a little bit because uh, they're a reminder to me that those that can should. The paralyzed man obviously couldn't walk himself to Jesus to be healed. He couldn't get himself there. So his friends did. His friends stepped up, helped him out. And all of us at one point or another have been the paralyzed man on the, on the mat, either physically, emotionally, even spiritually. And we are here today because people around us that could, did. So may we encourage each other in this time, of, especially of turmoil in our country, those that can love, those that can speak, those that can serve uh, in Jesus' name to do. Look for every opportunity that you can to tell the people around you that, uh, whether, they, whether they be strangers or friends, to tell them that they are worthy of God's love, that they are worth sacrificing for, that God believes that they are worth dying for no matter who they are no matter where they've come from no matter what they've done we can i believe we should love you guys and i hope you this message is encouraging to you today hope to see you soon thank you love you